Hello viewers and welcome back to another snooker video. So after the success of the last one last week, we're back here at the Garage Xander Palace. And today, attempting the realistic snooker lineup clearance, he's here, the undefeated Garage Xander Palace champion, the two-time champion of the handicap tournament at the Winchester. It's Cayman the Crocodile. off on the realistic lineup. So why was that your starting position? Uh, keeping it on the black again. I like to play mainly on the black and pink. I said that in the last one. I did play a nice cannon there, just to stay on the, the red to the left near the black. Very controlled play there. Something that I would never be able to do. But here he goes, he lines it up into the lovely part there. Very good control over the cue ball again, holding for, we hold him for the black there, yes. Yeah, I think I play a gentle screw shot here just to play for the one above it. So, I mean, Keep how, it as simple as possible. How does this line up compare to the straight line up? Um, this one's more realistic, I say. It's, it's still probably not as realistic because I don't actually have to split a pack or anything. But in terms of like playing a match on, on here or whatever, it's a lot more moving the white in different areas, doing pots at different angles, and you have to think a little bit more about where you're placing the white ball. So I'd say it's a lot better. And, Doing stuff like this has really helped me play better on this table. 100%, 100%. I mean, I wish I could say the same. Here we go. Staying he high on the black so I get a good angle to go off the cushion. Oh, he's found the play, cabinet. Trying to play on multiple reds as well. So I've got my options open. What would you say the hardest part of this lineup is? Um, Probably the reds at either side of the pink. Mm. Um, Trying to get a good angle on them to stay on a colour. And trying not to almost cannon too much because you don't want to start messing all the balls up. Oh, lovely couple of pots there. Lovely little streak that we've got going. He places the ping back down, he lines up for the red to the middle pocket. Oh, it's a lovely part. Beautiful. I think the ref's been furloughed on this one. 100% he's been furloughed. He's not an essential worker. Oh, did, this is where I messed it up. I, I was trying to get the other side of this red. I mean, what are we going to do at, here? At this point, I'm thinking the break's over. What, what can I do to salvage something from this? this is so I put a time. ton of right hand side screw on it to try and force it into the middle pocket. Oh, he's beautiful. And somehow I ended up on, on a bulk colour. Oh, he's, oh, do you know what though? You've put yourself on the cushion just there. I mean, it <laughs> could have been a lot worse on the position you were in. Oh, that's a, oh. Oh. It's a, good, black, a good brown, that one. Then middle pockets. They're quite tight from that kind of angle. There's some poor placement of the brown back on the, on the I table. I know, I fix it. <laughs> that was dreadful. It's looking good there, it's looking didn't, like didn't really run. end up on a, a good red there, but I managed to it's looking, sort looks like You've salvaged that well, it's like running the home straight here, you, you, you know, you... Staying you high on the black those. again, I, I played a lot more blacks in this yeah. one, because I'm not really, I'm not, like I said in the other one, I'm not really a fan of the straight lineup because I prefer doing this one. This is one I go to when I'm just practicing on my own, because it's a lot more, it's more, more fun for me. The, look, the, key, the cue control is just exceptional. I went straight on the blue actually, I, I kind of messed that up, but... Luckily the green there to get back on it. I put a bit of side on it, but after playing it, I realised that I probably didn't need it. Quite and, the, and these, always beautiful. and these cushions do react differently, so it's kind of hard. I think I, I think I this think shot here, I, this is a similar shot to the one I recently played, and I don't put side on this one, and you can see how it goes straight. Look, I'm gonna say there's a quite a. The There's a lot of lot of things with this table, aren't there? A few things. We've got the whole of the cushion on the far or the bottom right of the way you're looking at the table. Yeah, now. there's the guitars in the way. The you've got all the obstacles. Yeah. You've got the cupboard on the left side. You got the the drinks on the floor. <laughs> Everything. Proper garage coupled, snooker. Coupled with the fact that the table is actually hanging over a pit. Yeah. <laughs> absolute garage snooker, it's, and we love it. We absolutely love it. And here we go now, he's down onto the blue. I do like playing for the blue into the corners on this table because it's quite easy. Well, that's what I think anyway. I mean, how have you found that it transfers over onto a full-size table? Um, I think I think it's a lot easier on the smaller table. Well, but then, yeah. to be honest, when I play more on the big table, I prefer the big table. And here we go, he pops the black to complete the lineup. Lovely part there. Oh, oh, and there we have it, folks. Absolutely excellente.
If you like this video, click here to subscribe. And if you want to see some more snooker videos, click down here. And I tell you what, this video here is pretty good too.